Good morning. Actually, I am not a morning person. I am on 100 percentages night owl. Probably the reason is my work, but I almost never meet a sunrise. Today I decided to break this rule and to try an early awakening. I decided to treat myself like a person which enjoys waking up at 4 a.m. Actually, this is my third try to film this video because every morning I was not able to wake up. Three days in a row I wasn't able to wake up at 4 a.m. And today I also didn't wake up at 4 a.m. So it is not a morning. Let's pretend it is. Hold on, I remembered period of my life when I woke up in the early morning during the whole week and it was in 2019 when I visited Thailand. I was waking up every morning at about 6 a.m. and I was the first person in a cafe. Everything is about motivation, guys. Last few weeks were full of rush and nerves for me and I decided to have kind of detoxing day, both spiritual and physical. I don't know any ancient shaman practices, but I definitely know what I need to do to restore all my inner um, calmness and mana. I am such a calm person actually and I wish I could stay away from all disturbing things but unfortunately it is impossible not only for me but for everyone and I totally don't mind any um, working problems or deadlines but I'm so annoyed by you know kind of small things that I can't control but which still have huge impact on my life. Never mind, we are here to relax.
so I just took an Instagram photo and um, I need to put on my bra again and it's kind of difficult to do it here because there are so many people walking here um, so wish me good luck This is an awesome place to relax, to ride a bicycle, to walk with your dog. People are so lucky to have such a beauty here. I actually never saw such a beautiful park. However, um, sometimes, you know, I want something less idealistic, but more wild. I like a um, feeling of exploring when you don't know what is waiting for you um, right behind those trees. Maybe you will meet a hungry Sasquatch, but here the only hungry Sasquatch is me. So, yesterday I finally watched uh, five episodes of new season of Love, Death and Robots. And actually I'm a huge fan of the first season and I find it extremely epic. But on my personal opinion, I find the second season a bit weaker. At this moment I find the most interesting and the most interesting to me episode from the second season it is fifth episode i really like it it is definitely inspired by uh, stephen king's in the tall grass unfortunately i didn't read the book but i highly recommend you to watch the movie if i'm not mistaken it was filmed in 2018 and if you love unexpected scenarios like twists i find it really really interesting movie to watch i would highly recommend i personally really liked it but i find something really disturbing and creepy in such kind of fields like cornfields or whatever fields they really scare me for instance, at this moment I am in Croatia and for me nature here looks like, I don't know, like a big civilized, super tidy park. Like not scary at all, very beautiful, incredibly, be inc <laughs> incredibly beautiful, but not scary, not disturbing, like super safe and super beautiful. But in my motherland um even despite the fact that we even literally don't have forest in the area where i live the nature is kind of poor i would say but if you go 
to the hike or to the walk into the fields, you may never come back. So if you want me to go to the such an adventure, let me know in the comment. So guys, it was pretty long day and it is going to its end. It is evening, as you can see, and I'm going to sleep very soon. Probably I will watch a couple of YouTube videos before falling asleep. But yeah, I'm going to end this day already. And also I wanted to share with you the view from my window. I think it's like incredible like just i don't know if you can see it this is the view from the apartment i'm renting <sighs> it's gorgeous so hope you enjoyed this day and See you in the next video.